want to I want to get you to try being creative on canvas just to, to take your time and, and sit down and have nothing in mind when you start just have a good feeling and be happy and and love of life and the world and, and sit down and begin playing and if you feel good about yourself and the world it'll show in your painting and all these little things will have happen So guys, it's starting to get cold out. Like I think it's like minus one today. So what I thought I would do is get out the old slow cooker, which I've done here. So here's my crock pot. Do you guys have a crock pot? It's time guys, it's time to start making the warm, comforting foods that we all love. Filled with things like rice and lentils and more rice, maybe healthier sprouted brown rice, whatever you like. And, you know, some things that have been just storing in your pantry, use them. Get, you know, these will last forever, so get rid of them. We'll season this, so we'll add maybe a cup of each of those, I don't know. And season it with some, maybe some onion. Maybe we'll put in some whole bay leaves. This is just stuff that's been up in the cupboard. I found this can of tomatoes, diced tomatoes. We'll throw that in too. Here's a regular onion and here's some garlic here we have some crushed red pepper throw that in as well let's also put some heat on this this is chipotle chili peppers we'll put that in and what about some garam masala why don't we put some meat in this so i've got some leftover these are italian sausage they would impart some nice flavor into that too as it cooks slowly um, some other stuff I've got left over is some bacon. These are from my mukbangs. If you've been watching my mukbangs, I've got some leftovers. And I've also got some fried tofu. I'll throw that in. That'll increase the protein levels in this. So why don't we do that? Oh, before that, um, I'm also cooking up some chickpeas. So they're just simmering here. I'll bring them to a boil in a little while after they've soaked. Maybe I'll throw some of those in as well. So why don't we start by cutting up this onion in any way you want to, it's probably gonna all deteriorate anyway when it's in the slow cooker. Look, do you have a slow cooker and you're not using it? Because I'm about to slow cooker shame you. Use your slow cooker, guys, come on. You bought it, what, two years ago and you've used it three times? Is there a better, better time to use the slow cooker than right now? I don't think so. Because the weather's getting cold, unless you're in Southern California. And I know some of you watch me from sunny Southern California, so you guys are exempt from this shaming, this crock pot shaming. The rest of you, get it out and start cooking. Don't worry about dicing this because it's going into the slow cooker. It's going to break down anyway. Don't forget garlic, lots of garlic. Lots of garlic. You need garlic this time of year, right? Because well, you got your flu shot, but you're going to sort of bolster that flu shot with some garlic because garlic is going to keep you healthy. Here's a good way to cut garlic. Just sort of crush it. Crush. 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 It's going into the slow cooker. You don't have to mince any of this stuff. It's going to break down. All right, so why don't we just start filling this up with all this great stuff. I'm going to start with some green lentils. Just put a about. These are about a cup. Here's a cup of green lentils. Let's put a cup of this sprouted lentil trio. It's about a cup. I like to try to measure things out so I know how many calories are in. Quinoa. Do you guys like quinoa? That's not quite a cup, but anyway. Let's put some rice in. Mm, some basmati rice premium, India Gate. A cup of that in I guess a little more than a cup let's put some sprouted brown rice in again a cup sounds good Woo. keep it easy keep it chill keep it simple now let's put in some diced tomatoes these are organic getting a workout here
Ooh. Now let's put some seasoning in. I'm going to start with some bay leaves, whole bay leaves. I'll put maybe two in, I guess, maybe three. I don't know. Put in some dry chopped onion, a little extra. I'm just going to put maybe that much in. I don't know, maybe a bit more. And I'm going to put in some crushed red pepper here to give it a little extra heat. Put some garam masala in. Let's put some chipotle chili pepper in. Let's put some maple bacon in. Smoky maple veggie bacon. So here's the bacon right here, guys. Look at that bacon. Ooh. It's going to add a lot of flavor. And let's also put some sausage in, some Italian sausage. So here's one. Here's two Italian sausage. And let's put in some tofu, some fried tofu. So maybe I'll just drop that in. I'll drop that in. And I'll drop that in. Oh, hell, let's put two more in. There you go. Put a little bit of salt in, some table salt. Maybe that much, I don't know. Put in some rainbow peppercorns. Add some water. Fill it up with water. So you can see all the ingredients have been added. I've topped it up with water. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it on about six hours and I'm just going to hit start. Put the lid on. Ooh, and then you're going to have some pretty tasty vegan soup. Oh my gosh, I'll show this to you guys when it's done. So here we are at the three hour mark. Let's take a look guys and see what this looks like. So you can see it's bubbling a bit at the three hour mark and a lot of the rice and the beans have absorbed a lot of the water. I did add a little bit of water not that long ago so it wasn't drying out and I'm going to keep this going for a while. You can see the big chunks of tofu there and also oh my gosh there is the sausage, the Italian sausage. And so we'll let this keep going for a while and we'll check back on it a little later on. All right, guys, this is the finished product. So let's take the lid off and see what's going on inside here. Ooh, that looks good. So notice we have some nice sausage here, spicy Italian sausage. We've also got some tofu. This is uh, fried tofu. And we've got some big chunks of bacon in there. They're not as big as the sausage, but they're in there as well. And this went for about five hours, so I think it's ready to eat. So let's put some in a dish here. So I want a piece of that sausage. So we'll put some in here and some of that tofu as well. So it's pretty thick. I want it thick, so I let it go longer. You can take some of the soupy part, it's sort of like a paella, a vegan paella. A little bit more here. And there we go. We've got some nice stew. You want to call it vegan stew. You want to call it sausage stew. You can call it a sausage soup. You can call it a paella. I don't care what you call it, but it's pretty delicious. And I will put all the instructions and ingredients in the description box below. So if you haven't already, start following me today on Instagram and Twitter. The links are down below in the description box. And I look forward to seeing you all back here in a few days time for another super fresh video.